uh, today we are going to discuss about chained exceptions. Uh, this feature allows us to associate one exception with another exception. So let's discuss uh, what exactly the chained exception is and we'll be also uh, discussing about user defined exceptions. Chained exceptions is um, mainly like uh, the second exception describes the cause of the first exception. So in some situations, um, the method throws uh, an arithmetic exception because of a division of zero. So in this situation, the actual case of the problem is was through I/O error. So this chained exception lets us to handle in which layer exception exists. So that is chained exceptions. And then user defined exceptions is even though Java provides us uh, a lot of inbuilt exceptions, there are uh, few cases where we need to create our own exceptions. That is user defined exceptions. And then coming to the chain exceptions, uh, chain exception provides two constructors. One is mainly the throwable, uh, and then the parameter is throwable, which is the cause of the exception. And the second one is throwable, uh, parameterized uh, constructor that is string message. What is the message? And then throwable cause exception. So in the first constructor, the cause exception is the exception that causes in the current exception. So whatever the exception is there in the current, that is the uh, cause exception. So cause ex exception is underlying the reason that an exception occurred. So in the second constructor also, in this one also, uh, uh, it also allows us to specify the description. At the same time, we can even print or specify the cause of exception. We can do the same thing, but we can specify and print the cause of the exception. Okay. And then uh, chained exception provides us two methods that is get cause and then init cause methods. So this throwable is the return type for the for the two methods. So throwable is the return type for these two methods. So when coming to the get cause method, this returns the exception that underlies current exception. So if there is no underlying exception, it will return none. And then uh, init init cause method. It, is asso it associates with invoking the exception and returns the reference to the exception. So uh, it will invoke whatever the exception it is and uh, the, what it returns is what is the reference to that particular exception. So that is in it cause and then that is get cause. And then coming to the user defined exception. So whatever the class that we are creating for the exception that has to extend the main exception class. So if you want to create a user defined exception, there are uh, two steps that we need to follow. And the user defined, whatever the class that we are creating, that should extend the exception class. And uh, the class has to override the method to string so that whatever we need to display uh, the message, the proper message for that exception, which is being called. Uh, for that, we need to override the to string method. So this is basically a high level introduction of what is a chained exception? What are the two constructors the chained exception provides us? And what are the two methods that the chain exception provides? And how to create a user defined exception? Um, so, in the next session, we'll be discussing about uh, in Eclipse how to create a chained exception with an example. And then how to create a user defined exception so that we'll be clear with the concepts. Uh, please follow my next tutorial. Thank you.